everybody. I am going to make a pork butt on my Trekker grill this morning. Of course, as you can see, it's about 40 degrees and the rain is set in. And uh, of course, in Virginia, they may be calling for a little bit of snow. We might have a white Christmas, but usually the snow goes all around us in the mountains and never hits in the valley maybe a little bit but when we do get some snow we get some snow so hang on this for a few minutes i'm gonna get this trego grill smoking so haven't used my grill in a while i'm gonna add some uh hickory Checker grill pellets. I'm gonna add that in here. And my son, Daniel, he bought me these pellets. So I'm gonna add that in here. Fill this up. Which, which everybody knows that's really the shoulder of the pig. But, all right, now I'm gonna get this thing smoking. All right, so now I got the Traeger smoking a little bit. I'm gonna go up and let's put some rub on this pork butt. So, rubbing butt's not too bad. We'll go up there and do that. Alright, so what I'm going to do starting out is going to put some mustard. A lot of people just use standard, regular mustard. But I'm going to use this Weber's, W-O-E-B-E-R-S. Sweet and spicy mustard. So I'm gonna put that on here to begin with All right, so let's start putting the mustard on here Don't need it too heavy And just gonna rub that in And all this mustard is doing it's just going to be a base. Maybe that's uh, just to hold the rest of the rub on. So. Let's see. Come on, mustard. I think there's plenty in here. Mustard, of course, has vinegar in it, which it might help to break it down, but probably not. It's mostly just to hold the, the rest of the rub that uh, is going into this thing. Going on to the, the big butt. So that looks pretty good. And I like this because it also has... Uh, turmeric and it has black pepper in it salt turmeric so and a little bit of sugar because i don't want to use a lot of sugar all right all right so now um gonna put some of this uh, traeger pork and poultry rub on there and uh we'll just sprinkle some of that to get that on here there we go. That's going to give it a good color. Boy. And you don't really have to pat it down. Just let it soak in for a little bit. And then here's the butt part, which...
we can smack the butt a little bit if you want. Let it adhere to that fat. And then put that in there. Put a little bit more because it came off on the that looks good. All right, and then also I'm gonna put some of this, just a little coating of this Adobe Goya. So you gotta get your Goya, and I bought that not too long ago, so Adobo is all purpose. And what I like, it's got pepper and, I can't read, black pepper, oregano and turmeric so that's good just don't don't have to do too much a little light coating of that that thing's heavy a little light coating of that you don't want to do overdo it thing is now we're just going to use some light brown sugar on the top and you know everywhere we're going to rub it on there because I want it to be I want it to look pretty before we go down put it on the grill alright so I've got the uh, the fat side down right here because in the Traeger grill the heat comes up so and it, but it's it circulates around it cooks pretty daggone even so uh, I'm gonna try it watch a couple videos they said put the fat side down we'll see if that works it better I'm gonna be uh, mad no I'm just kidding but anyway so we'll let this smoke for a while and uh, then I'm gonna come back and put the thermometer in just a minute hey guys uh, I'll be using this Thermo Pro with the, uh, you know, so I could check the temperature of my meat. I always use these. This one comes with two probes that you can put in the meat. And I'm going to do that right now and then just let it sit here. I'm just going to clip this right here. Just gonna put this probe right in there, right there, and I'm gonna put one right here. And you can see it's already registering uh, one of them. I don't know if both of them are registering yet, but. Uh, So, I've got it set. 
that to 160 when it gets to 160 and both of them are are low right now because that uh, the meat is pretty cold so we want to see that see where it says low 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 uh, you don't want to eat that yet <laughs> so and we're gonna and we're not gonna eat it at 160 either but what we're gonna do is when we we get it out at 160 then we'll come back and wrap it up so I'm gonna shut the lid and uh, come back and check it in a little bit so my son Daniel got me that for Christmas uh, last year or and that what a great gift that was because you really need that because uh, you don't want to cook you know especially pork or chicken it's not completely done but anyway even beef of course some people eat beef rare just you know knock its horns off wipe its ass and turn it over once they eat it like that so anyway so we'll keep following this see how it registers and i'm saying i'll come back in about two hours and check on it so you can come out and you can check your tractor grill as often as you want but guys you don't want to open the lid because uh, according to Traeger every time you open that lid you just lost 30 minutes of cooking time so because it's it's heating up right now it's about 200 in there and you can see now the uh, temperature of the the pork is 34 on one probe and 33 on the other one of course i want to get to 160 on that so that'll be good so anyway so with the trigger you don't want to come out you don't want to open the lid so you know how us yeah, we're so used to coming down here and grilling open that thing up and turning the meat and all that kind of stuff just you just gotta let the meat settle let everything just cook and settle in there and then it's gonna be really good so i figured two or three hours just depending you know first time i've done this so two or three hours uh, on this grill and then i'll check the temperature see how it's doing but as you can see it was so beautiful the other day uh, but this is typical Roanoke Salem Virginia weather right now it's a little rainy a little cool and uh, but uh, if you saw my video that I just posted about uh, my birthday dinner at Mac and Bob's and the uh, went up to the Andrew Lewis gravesite overlooking the town of Salem if you uh, hadn't seen those watch those because Salem is a beautiful town uh, but this morning it's just rainy and cloudy and who knows it might snow tonight who knows that temperature keeps dropping this rain will turn to snow I bet so we'll see well, I'm just they ain't gonna stop me though because I'm gonna keep cooking this thing till it's done all right we're gonna go over here it's been about two hours about two and a half hours really uh the temperature now is up to 98 so it's getting there but i, I want it to be at 160 before i take it off put it into foil and then we'll cook it again till it's about 200 or 205 uh, some people say 198 but i'd rather have 200 whatever so we're going to check this out i'm going to spray it keep it moist uh, but man it looks good it looks pretty moist actually but look at that that is looking great i'm going to spray a little this is just apple cider spray that on there Ooh, 
you smell that cider and then we've got uh this is apple juice with some spices in it i'm gonna spray that on there as well give it a good dosing that'll just break down the meat keep it moist guys that looks great it's getting that good color but still got a ways to go i mean uh this could go like this for maybe another two hours hopefully not before it reaches uh you know 160 so good stuff and you see that smoke rolling out yes 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 and as soon as i as soon as you open that lid look the temperature dropped it was like 200 some but it dropped to 134 now it's coming back up because the lid is is uh you know, see it rising 35 36 or 36 so that temperature is going to have to get up uh so it can get to uh 160 so got a little while So even though the temperature in there, in, you know, it says it's 200, that may not be what the, the uh, you know, the temperature of the grill on the inside of the grill might be 200, but you got to worry about the temperature of the meat. So that's why thermometers are so important. And that's why I'm so happy my son got me that uh, thermometer. So pretty cool. Good deal. We'll be back. In a little while, then I'll wrap it up. All right, so it's reached 160 degrees. So we're gonna open this thing up. And look, we got Tina and Carrie with me. They don't want to be seen. Look at the color of it. Look at that. get that off wrap it up and we'll put it back on all right I'm gonna spray it a little bit more before I wrap it up so it's good and moist mm -hmm -hmm. and then probably gonna get the thermometer back in here so Put it in and then pull it out some. Alright, it's already 70 degrees. Good deal. Guys, here it is. I forgot to film but I tore it all up <laughs> pulled it apart look at that it got to 200 I carried it in mm. that is so good tell us how it is Karen. it's fantastic it's delicious it was excellent loved it and Carrie's had a frontier with And it don't need monster. barbecue sauce, it's almost gone. Oh, yeah. She drank all that frontier with monster. <laughs> it, and, um... Uh, Fantastic.
That's a dangerous drink I concocted. Dangerous. Thanks for watching this. Like and subscribe. And I don't do a lot of cooking videos, but if I do something like this again, I'll bring it to you. Hey everybody, I just had to show you this wonderful gift that my buddy John, who's been in a couple of my YouTube videos, but as you know, he's in the Witness Protection Program, but anyway, uh, John made this for me using one of my logos, and he got it off of one of the, the uh, videos that I had uploaded. And he made this logo. That is so nice. I mean, I don't even have words to express how nice that was.